So we in the gym again. Day after Christmas. Happy Christmas to everybody. Merry Christmas and all that. We in the gym. Y'all hear the ball bouncing. We got four courts going. We work, working hard. And I'm going to tell y'all basketball enthusiasts this. Your kids, before high school, I said before high school, needs a million reps on screen and roll. Your child is not making any money, I mean zero money, if they can't participate perfectly in the screen and roll. Now you say, Fred, what are you talking about? There's, there's six spots that you gotta learn screen and run from. The two corners, the two slots, top of the key, and now the nail, because they got these big guys that can play like Dirk Nowitzki, so now they run the screen and roll from the nail. You know what I'm saying? And then you gotta focus on Where's the help come from? How are they playing it? Are they blitzing the screen, drop covers? Are they helping from one pass away? Are they helping from the corner? Are they zoning up behind you? Are they zone? Are they doubling from the opposite corner because you can't see it? There's a there's a thousand ways. Not a there's so many ways to play against the screen and roll. By the time your child is in the ninth grade, he needs to have at least a million reps with screen and roll. Oh, my son can't do that. That's impossible. You're watching games. You're going to high school games, you're playing games, you're having practice, NBA 2K, you got YouTube, and, and, and your parents, you gotta learn the terminology. Stop just saying, oh, that's screen and roll. No, there's terminology in screen and roll. You gotta, you gotta know it so your kids know these words, this information, this, this language, so when they get to high school, guess what? They're proficient, they're efficient, they're, they can excel beyond. It's like when you go to college, right? You gotta have, you gotta have these presets already built in you. And I'm telling you parents, if your child can't participate and be efficient and effective and successful in screen and roll, then not get the scholarship. Not unless, I, I, I shouldn't say that. I, I'll just say, because the top 100 kids, they're gonna play in college regardless. But all these two and three stars that are fighting for those division one scholarships, division two scholarships, you gotta be proficient, efficient, and accelerate, and be great, and, and, and in practice, you gotta have perfect practices with screen and roll. I don't care what nobody say. You gotta have at least a million reps. Mental reps, physical reps, visual reps, screen and roll game, all right? And if you don't know, parents don't even know where the slot is. All they know is run screen and roll. You gotta know, and, and, and these positions are, extend it beyond the three-point line. So you can run the slot, screen and roll outside, beyond the three-point line. You gotta know all these, you gotta know all these, these terminologies, you know, all this language. Anyways, y'all have a great, happy day after Christmas. I appreciate y'all. If y'all wanna train with us, DM me. I'm more than welcome to help. We'll start be doing a whole bunch of videos and stuff like that. But uh, in the meantime, between time, a million reps on screen and roll before ninth grade parents and athlete that's your homework for the next years how long it take for y'all to get to high school and if you're in high school it goes to five million you got four years to get five million reps of screen and rolling it's not impossible you think it is but it's not <laughs> ball gotta be life <laughs> peace y'all